Fox News alert now new details from an extraordinary conference call with Democratic committee chairs. Speaker Pelosi urging fellow Democrats to focus on investigations rather than impeachment in the wake of the special counsel's report on Russia's interference in the 2016 election. Speaker Pelosi reportedly telling a divided caucus, quote, this isn't about Democrats or Republicans. It's about saving our democracy. We don't have to go to articles of impeachment to obtain the facts, the presentation of the facts. Sources tell Fox News that House Financial Services Chair Maxine Waters spoke up, saying she still supports impeachment, but won't seek to influence anyone else on it. The Democratic 2020 contenders, like Senator Kamala Harris, see no need for caution, though. Watch. I believe Congress should take the steps towards impeachment. I'm also a realist. and The Republicans hold the majority. I've not seen any evidence to suggest that they will weigh on the facts instead of on partisan adherence to, to being protective of this president. And that's what concerns me and what will be the eventual outcome. So we have to be realistic about what might be the end result, but that doesn't mean the process should not take hold. Republican Mike Turner, who sits on the House Intelligence Committee, says there is plenty of work that Congress needs to do instead of focusing on investigations. And he faults Speaker Pelosi for giving energy to a movement to investigate the president. Well, I think there's a lot of dissension that's going on among the party, but at the same time, she's given tremendous encouragement to this investigation ad nauseum. You know, the Intelligence Committee should be working on issues such as Russia and China, North Korea and Iran, but she's encouraged Adam Schiff and his minions to continue their pursuit of Donald Trump as if he's the, the most significant threat to our national security instead of our adversaries. It's, it's certainly interrupting real congressional work that needs to be done. In the meantime, Politico is reporting that the White House believes there is no chance the House will start proceedings and that even if it did, it would be a political gift for the president. One administration official telling the publication the White House is so unconcerned that it doesn't currently have a strategy in place for responding to potential impeachment proceedings. Charlie, let me start with you on that note. Is that, first of all, do you believe that sincerely is the stand, that there is no plan because they don't think it's going to happen? And if so, do you think it's smart? Well, I believe there, there's some plan, but look, if the Democrats really want to go forward with these articles of impeachment, and let's just say in a hypothetical world that it passes, it won't go anywhere in the Senate, just so, so everyone knows, there's only been two presidents in American history that have been impeached and zero that have ever been removed from office for impeachment. But if they want to focus on that I-word, President Trump will smile about another I-word, independence. You think independence in the country that are seeing wages going up, unemployment going down, peace happening across the world, they're going to want to see that president impeached? People in the middle want to see unity. They want to see bipartisan reform. And if the Democrats are going to use their energy on that, they're going to lose independence going into 2020. So, Leslie, there is someone who, who is focused on impeachment and does want it, and that's Tom, Tom Steyer, mm -hmm. um, who took out an ad um, he is saying it's all here, 10 detailed acts of obstruction of justice. Robert Mueller report lays out the roadmap for impeachment against the president, and then it goes on to say, Congress, do your job. I'm Tom Steyer put that message out. Obviously very influential within the party. What does that mean? I've interviewed uh, Tom Steyer and I asked him point blank because uh, to Kamala Harris's point, there are realities here. Um, if it in fact passes the House, you do have a division among the more centrist moderate Democrats like Speaker Pelosi herself and the AOC faction in the Democratic Party in the House. You have a Republican majority in the Senate and then we have history to look to which what happened to the Republicans when Bill Clinton was impeached, impeached it benefited Clinton. Mm -hmm. His what ratings went out. Newt, Newt Gingrich, you know, so what he said is and, and some of the people in Congress feel this way that may be on the fence as to whether they're going to be AOC side or Pelosi side of this argument, which is Congress has a responsibility to the American people, to the Constitution, to do the investigation, and even if it's not going to pass in the Senate, to bring the articles of impeachment because it is their position, and not just their position, their congressional responsibility to have oversight over the executive branch, specifically the president, and they look to two issues, which are obstruction and witness tampering. Well, first, Katie? I think it's amazing that we're calling Nancy Pelosi a model moderate Democrat now. I mean, she's not a moderate Democrat. She's always been an extremist. We just have more extremists in the Democratic Party at no, this she's point. Pretty moderate. You know, she's she's, wow. she's she not a moderate. She finds herself very progressive. Um, but, but when it yeah. comes to when it comes to the Mueller report, okay, it, we've gone from Bob Mueller is the end all be all. We trust what he's going to say and that's what protect we, we, Mueller. We, we'll protect him. We want to introduce legislation to protect him. Uh, Mitch McConnell was chided in the Senate for not bringing that legislation to the floor multiple times to vote on it. And yet now here we are without 
about any kind of collusion, and Democrats want to focus on an obstruction claim that the attorney general said doesn't play out in terms of the evidence. And so my question for Democrats is, you subpoenaed Don McGahn yesterday to come in front of the Intelligence Committee or, or the, the House Oversight Committee and testify. Out of the 30 hours of what he testified in front of Mueller about, which are, is in the report, what are you going to find based on the resources that you have as investigators that Bob Mueller didn't find? And the answer is nothing. So Democrats have the benefit of talking about impeachment as a talking point for political reasons. Yeah. And actually, they have the benefit of actually introducing articles and voting on it because they know it's not going to go, in, not going to go anywhere. So they can say to their base, right, we, we voted tried. on impeachment, yeah. we mm -hmm. tried, and the Republicans didn't want to hold the administration accountable. When it comes to how people feel about the Mueller investigation, however, at this point, most people think it was a witch hunt. And his credibility actually went down by the end of the investigation, and people just want to move on. So it's it's a double-edged sword, but I do think the White House is more prepared than they're letting on mm -hmm. for the investigation. Go ahead. And to your point about it being a talking point, I think for someone like Kamala Harris, who knows that her base loves the impeachment talk, then right. they're going to keep talking about it. But for the rest of the Democrats, I feel like, look, we now know at this point there was no collusion, so you knew people were going to hang on to something, right? You knew people were going to keep pounding the pavement about something, and, and this is one of those things. But, and I think but, it's not a surprise. But for Kamala Harris, I mean, you say her base in... in I, her, I mean, Democratic base. Well, I mean, the Democratic well, base. But her, her area of the country and in in what she represents now mm -hmm. loves impeachment. But if she's going for a broader vote and she's trying sure. to run for president, right. does it still make sense for well, her, Charlie? In Manhattan and Malibu, impeachment is very popular. But <laughs> in Manhattan, Kansas... We have Kansas, a few other cities. Well, in Manhattan, Kansas, it's not as popular. You know, all kidding aside, middle America, they're starting to see a revitalization of America that they've been promised for decades. Wages are going up, manufacturing is coming back, unemployment at record low levels. Just today, a new report said that Pennsylvania hit the lowest ever unemployment rate ever. Lowest ever black unemployment, lowest ever Hispanic unemployment. So look, the radical left, they're demanding revenge. Mm -hmm. they, they still have not gotten over the fact that they lost in 2016, and this is their way to try to get back at it. But at this point, I agree, Congress does have an oversight capacity and authority, 100%, but they also delegated that to Robert Mueller. Right. We were told for two years, give him space, give him years, give him $30 million. And now the report comes out mm -hmm. and they have no collusion. They, they specifically fact, said they weren't investigating because Mueller was. That's right, that's exactly. They I said, said, let Mueller do it. And so wait, I'm, I'm confused. What are they exactly going to impeach him for? Uh, for well, because that they're upset that they lost or that? Ten that Ten articles of obstruction as, but, but as laid out. If they had a case for obstruction, yeah. Mueller would have referred no, no, no. that. Right. No, the okay. difference here is you're, 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 you're not it's separating criminal, which was Mueller's responsibility, from political, which is and ethical, which is congressional responsibility. No, high crimes Impeach and misdemeanors. No, in no, the Constitution, no, no. it says high no. crimes in, in the and con misdemeanors. I know what it says in so the what Constitution. Crime, what crime happened? The interpretation of the Constitution, and even former President Gerald Ford said it, impeachment is whatever the House majority deems it to be right. at the time. High crimes and misdemeanors is in the actual language of the Constitution. Nixon was never impeached. Clinton was for lying to Congress. Andrew Johnson was for a high crime. All right. Well, that settles that.